Well, it doesn't look like the weather wants to cooperate with me today. At least it stopped raining for a minute. Got a couple of motocross races coming up. I got invited to race something called the 24 Hours of Glen Helen. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. You would not believe how little riding I've been getting in lately. It seems like there's always some reason I can't get out on the bike. Having these large gaps in the AMA races really makes it easy to start slacking off. Unfortunately, that slacking off is probably going to cost me here in the near future. really cool we hit 4,400 subscribers today on the Joe Rockstar channel and I'm just amazed I never thought I'd have 40 400 let alone 4,000 and now we're at 4,400 on our way to 5,000 um, at the pace I'm going I should be there uh, sometime next year <laughs> but that's awesome I really appreciate it I, I just think it's amazing and I really appreciate all of you because I have all of you to thank for it thank you very much to ensure you don't miss a single episode, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon to receive a notification whenever a new video comes out. For the more serious rock stars out there, you can support the channel through my website at www.joerockstar.com. There you will find links to help keep the channel running via PayPal, Patreon, or purchasing Joe Rockstar gear like hats and t-shirts. This weekend, I will be competing in the 24 Hours of Glen Helen as a member of the B&L Motorsports Off-Road Racing Team. Along with five other racers, I will be racing for the B&L Motorsports Vet Team. Now, I've never even heard of this race before I got invited to join the team. And just to be invited to race on a team sounded really awesome. I mean, I've always been more likely to be asked not to play than to even be the last guy picked when it comes to team sports. So it's great that my fellow AMA racers, Chris and Richard, had enough confidence in me to nominate me to be a member of this team. And I hope that by accepting, I don't let them down. And I hope that I haven't bitten off more than I can chew. So I am here at Nomads trying to uh, get ready for the 24 hours of Glen Helen. And uh, man, God, I just, I gotta stay in shape. I gotta get to, to, out to ride some more. I just, I just don't get enough time riding. It really shows. So I need to be able to complete uh, six laps of my practice loop um, and on it. Like I have to be standing up and pushing uh, through all six laps uh, before I feel like I'll be ready for a race. Uh, today I was able to get two laps and then a third just kind of butt riding, ass riding through the whole thing. Um, and it wasn't good. Uh, so it looks like I'm gonna have to get out here a lot more often than I'm, I've been doing. Um, I'm gonna have to find the time and make it happen because I can't go out there like this. I'll let the whole team down. See, this is gonna be a race that features a lot of motocross and work style tracks, which leads itself to much higher speeds than what I'm used to. And they aren't calling it the 24 hours of Glen Helen for nothing. 
We'll be racing as a team for 24 hours straight. And here's the kicker. The entire team has to race on the same two bikes for the entire event. A Yamaha 250 and a Yamaha 450. No, I won't be on my beautiful 350, the bike that I have dialed in just for me. Instead, I'll be with the Blue Crew, riding a bike that I'm completely unfamiliar with. But hey, they're Yamahas. And if you ask any Yamaha owner, they'll swear by their Blue Beasts. Hell, judging by the way they talk, I don't think Yamaha owners even need to own any tools since those bikes never need any maintenance. So a bike that never breaks sounds perfect for a 24 hour race, right? Seriously, this is exciting. It's a big time race on a bike I've never ridden that's not set up for me, a single track hair scramble guy with barely any motocross experience, on a world class motocross track. What could possibly go wrong? Just kidding, I'm not worried too much, but it is a little funny that I feel so out of place on an MX track, even though my only race win in the last three years was on a motocross track. Yes, some of my best riding has taken place on the track, as well as some of my worst. So it's pretty important that I get in as much practice as possible this week. Hey guys, here at Nomads, uh, after work, trying to get at least an hour of riding in before uh, the sun goes down uh, to get ready for the 24 hours at Glen Helen. Trying to get as much seat time in as possible because I really don't want to let my teammates down. I can't let the team down because I wasn't putting in seat time to get ready for this. So when I come out to practice, one of the first things I like to do is uh, get on this little turn track here and work on uh, work on turning. So I'll just do a little warm up, some warm up turns here. Then I'll do trying hard to, uh, to not use the rear brake, and then I'll do them uh, standing up. So I'm kind of like working on a few things there. Trying to get the most out of the bike. I'm not exactly trying to push it as hard as I can. As far as the jumping stuff's concerned. There's one, I'm by myself here. And if I screw one up, there's no one to pick me up. It'll take me to the hospital. I don't even have a way to call anybody unless I can fall back in the truck. I think I'll be just fine. That is until the sun goes down. This is going to be my first experience riding off-road in the dark. And I'm going to be on a strange bike in a race on an unforgiving track. It should be very interesting to say the least. But I'm gonna have the cameras rolling as much as possible. So wish me luck out there, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.